Hey guys, Matt here from Crank Engineering and back with the next video in our installment on painting. So in the last video we talked about the process we're going to use and we're going to use this old tank as an example and last night I stripped the surface rust off this with an angle grinder using a wire wheel and I would guess that when I got this tank years and years ago, I originally stripped it using a sanding disc because there's some quite severe scratches in this tank. So I think what I'm going to do is use body filler to not just fill these, these dents, but also the entire surface because it is quite rough. The other thing I've noticed, which I'd highly recommend you check on, an, on your own tank, is there's quite a bit of rust in this tank. There's a bit in the side panels here, uh, under where the badges go, and it's evident on both sides, so I'm not sure whether that's a common problem on this particular tank, or um, it's just something that's happened due to age on this tank. But also, this one's got quite a bit of rust right in the bottom corner here, and there's actually holes right through the bottom of the tank. So this tank really is unserviceable. It's quite a bit of work to go and I guess repair all those patches. The metal can get really thin underneath the tank when the, uh, it's, it's rusted from the inside out. So uh, this is gonna be some just garage art once we're finished. So just check out your tanks for rust and just don't spend hours and hours and hours of work if it's not serviceable. So let's get into it. Okay, so as we discussed yesterday, we're gonna be using a polyester body filler. This is very common, uh, commonly available in automotive supply shops. So we're gonna be using this to uh, fill the majority of the holes and dents and things in this tank. Now, this one in the front corner is quite significant. And I think you'd probably find that that would be too deep to fill with body filler. Uh, you probably try and get that dent out a little bit and then repair the damage. In this case, I'm not gonna worry about it because it is just, um, it's just gonna be a decoration. It's just an exercise for painting. So you just wanna assess whether those dents are too deep. I think maybe three or four millimeters, maybe what's that, three sixteenth of an inch. Might be about reasonable to, to patch a, a dent in a tank. Other than that, you probably wanna try and beat those dents out somehow. So there's plenty of videos on YouTube, guys using compressed air or even a little dolly inside the tank to knock those dents out. So I'm not gonna worry about that. We're just gonna fill. Okay, so I'm pretty much out of hardener. So I'll have to go and buy some more hardener and I'll probably just buy a whole new tin of filler. And it's probably not obvious in the camera, but this is quite a rough coating of filler and I'll be doing a lot of sanding. And if I was some sort of professional, I probably would have got a lot better coverage and I'll have to do a lot less sanding afterwards, but I'm not, I'm learning as I go as well. So as long as you're having fun, who cares? So that's the first step, is just to get the filler on. We'll come back and in the next video, either build it up or start sanding it back and let's see what sort of final finish we can get. Thanks for watching.